Programming FPGA Boards in VHDL with Tina Cloud. In our other videos, we've shown how you can create a digital circuit and download to an FPGA board by using Tina Cloud's schematic editor. Programming FPGA boards with Tina Cloud using schematic design entry and the Verilog hardware description language, programming FPGA boards in Verilog with Tina Cloud. Now, in this video tutorial, our circuit, a full adder, will be based on the VHDL hardware description language. The textual description of the hardware greatly enhances portability and reusability. By using hardware description languages describing the fundamental operations, structures, and connections, virtually any logical circuit can be defined. At the end of the video, we'll use Xilinx Vivado Design Suite and a Digilent Basis 3 FPGA board to demonstrate the configuration of the FPGA. Now, as we stated earlier, Tina Cloud works with schematics, but we can also place HDL macros, including VHDL and Verilog, in the design. To learn more about the HDL macro creation and its role in the simulation, watch our video, Creating Macros from VHDL, Hardware Description Languages in Tina Cloud Part 1. Now let's see an example, a full adder using the half adder VHDL macros. Start Tina Cloud, then open the full adder VHDL.tsc from the Tina Examples folder. Most digital circuits that perform addition or subtraction use full adder. This combinational circuit adds two binary digits and a carry in to produce a sum and carry out. This 1 bit full adder cell has three inputs A, B, carry in and two outputs, sum, carry out, by applying a half adder to accept the carry-in, carry-in input from the previous less significant stage of a multiple bit adder. Let's check the VHDL code. Double click the half adder VHDL macro. In the properties window, click the three dots, details, at the end of the HDL code field. As you can see, the half adder is described by this very simple two line long VHDL code shown on the screen. The OR gate can either be schematic symbol or described by VHDL. It requires just one line, identical with the mathematical definition of the OR operation. To demonstrate the power of hardware description languages, Note that we could even realize the whole full adder with a short VHDL code, which is also shown on the screen. Close the dialogs. You can also realize this circuit with a similar Verilog code. See our video tutorial Programming FPGA Boards in Verilog with Tina Cloud. The circuit operates like a half adder while the carry-in value is low. Start the simulation by pressing the DIG interactive button. When both inputs are low while carry in is also low, then sum and carry out are also low. While just one input is low while carry in is low, then sum is high and carry out is also low. When both inputs are high when carry in is low, then sum is low and carry out is high. Now let's see what happens when carry in is high. When carry in is high, while both inputs are low, then sum is high too, and carry out is low. When carry in is high, while only one input is high, then sum is low and carry out is also high. When carry in is high, while both inputs are high, then sum and carry out are also high. If carry in is high, then the output values change as if we had added one to the full adder. OK, now let's test our circuit in a real environment using the Digilent Basis 3 Artix 7 FPGA trainer board. Note, as it can be seen, this circuit is already prepared for the FPGA tool export. See our previous video, Programming FPGA Boards with Tina Cloud using Schematic Design Entry. Now let's see how to generate the source file for Xilinx Vivado. 
click the TNM menu and select Export to Xilinx Tool. Then click Xilinx Vivado. Next, open and extract the full adder VHDL Xilinx export.zip. Create a folder. We'll name our folder Designs. Then copy the three files, including the two .vhd and .xdc files, into this newly created folder. To produce downloadable content, first we create the Vivado project. Start Vivado. Click Create Project. Click Next. Enter the project name, in our case, Full Adder VHDL. Then click Next. Click Next again. Click the plus sign. Then select the Add Files option. From the Designs folder, select the two VHD files as source files. Then click OK. As you can see, the default target language is VHDL. So leave it like that. Click Next again. Then click the Add Files button to add the full adder vhdl.xdc file as well. Select the file, then click OK. Click Next again. To finish project configuration, select Boards in the default part dialog. You can now select the appropriate board. Select Basis 3. Note, if you cannot see Basis 3 board in the list, you can choose it manually under Parts. There, you should select Part the number, click Next. Click Finish. Now, Vivado is initializing our project. We can check the full adder vhdl.vhd file and the full adder vhdl.xdc file. Click Generate Bitstream to produce configuration data for the FPGA. Then click OK in the Launch Runs dialog. Now connect Basis 3 via USB with the Vivado machine and turn the board on. As soon as the Bitstream Generation Successfully Completed message appears, select Open Hardware Manager then click OK. Next, click Open Target, then select Auto Connect. Let's finish programming the hardware. Click the FPGA part name, then select Program Device. In the Program Device window, click the Program button. You'll see the message FPGA is programmed, and the done LED will light up on the board. Now let's see how our simulated full adder circuit works along with the programmed Basis 3 hardware. To have a closer look at Basis 3 hardware, we'll now zoom into the area of the three switches, SW0, SW1, and SW2, and the corresponding LEDs, LED0 and LED1. Start the simulation by pressing the Interactive Dig button in Tina Cloud. We'll change the virtual switches in Tina Cloud by clicking them on the screen. And at the same time, we'll also change the real switches on the Basis 3 board. When both inputs are low while carry in is also low, then sum and carry out are also low. While just one input is low while carry in is low, then SUM is high and CARRY OUT is also low. When both inputs are high when CARRY IN is low, then SUM is low and CARRY OUT is high. Now let's see what happens when CARRY IN is high. When CARRY IN is high, while both inputs are low, then SUM is high too and CARRY OUT is low. When carry in is high, while only one input is high, then sum is low and carry out is also high. When carry in is high, while both inputs are high, then sum and carry out are also high. 
As you can see, in all cases, the results are exactly the same. This is a great example of demonstrating the power of simulation, since you can test and debug circuits even before realizing them, and in our case, before downloading to FPGA, where if there were any issues, it would be extremely hard to find the problem. This concludes our video tutorial of programming an FPGA development board using VHDL macros with Tina Cloud's built-in digital components. Check out our other video, Programming FPGA Boards in Verilog with Tina Cloud, where we use a Verilog component in FPGA design. For more information, visit our website, www.tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash Tina Design Suite.